Mommy, that was so fun. We played all day today. I know you're gonna make dinner. I could help. Mommy, I know how to cut the apples. Mommy, maybe we could draw something. Dear God, I need a hot second to myself. <sighs> Look, sweetie, we had so much fun today. Ugh. Oh. Right now, it's time for mommy to take care of herself and make dinner. While I do that, would you like to sit out here at the counter and do coloring or do you wanna do Play-Doh? Here, I'm offering my child a way to stay connected to me with angering, sit here at this counter while I do this thing, and giving her two discreet activities that she can do. I'm also priming her. This is mommy's time. I actually need to listen to a podcast or I'm gonna take care of myself for a minute. Notice that I took a deep breath so I'm grounding into myself before I respond. Because if I respond with even a little bit of edge, my highly sensitive child is going to blow. Oh, mommy, Play-Doh. Good idea. Here's our special Play-Doh tray for dinner time. I have new colors and some Paw Patrol. I'll be cooking right here. You sit here. Amazing, here is a timer. When timer goes off, I will come check on you. Let's set it for five minutes. Giving your child a timer helps them anchor themselves in the time and know when to expect you back. I like the time timer, it's a red wedge, gets smaller, but there's you could use a salt shaker timer, there's lots of different kinds of timers that you can use. But what's important is it cues you too, because what happens for so many of us is that we go off to cook or to check our email or whatever, and we just get lost in the activity, and maybe you're overwhelmed and it's been a long day and now you've already given so much, and so you forget that your child, especially your highly sensitive child, need you to come back and anchor them. That's why I've put her right at the counter. Now I'm here gonna cook. I'm probably even gonna take my earbuds, put my earbuds in, listen to a podcast. If she interrupts me, I'm gonna go over, oh wait, let's check the timer. It's not time yet. You still are doing Play-Doh. It's okay to take care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself. And some of us may need to find ways to take care of ourselves that work for our children and that sort of foster a sense of closeness. So I'm using my presence in here in the kitchen and my kitchen bar to anchor my child so that I can get a hot second for myself. When I get a hot second for myself, I'm gonna get back into the relationship with her. You do have to hold on to yourself for a second while you set your child up. I like to have a tray on top of the fridge. I take that tray down, it has special stuff on it. And I let my child to do it. I check in every five minutes. You have to start small over time. Of course you can stretch. You got this mama.